Okay, MOC is reset, and I think something that I'll start doing is recording my full MOC clear with live commentary to give you guys an idea of how I'm clearing with my free-to-play account. And then you guys can see if I'm struggling or not. I just need to show you guys a few updates since the last video. So one thing that happened was on the very last day of Fish Shell's banner, I decided to YOLO the free monthly wishes because it crossed into October, right? So you got the free five wishes and yeah, this happened. So I, I got face shell in, in four summons. So I spent the last couple weeks building up my face shell and I'm excited to use her now. This is what my face shell looks like at the moment. She is nothing special because I don't have a proper light cone for her. So she's on sword play. Uh, I don't have everything maxed out yet because I just haven't had the time to grind everything out. And for relics, uh, I'm, I'm happy enough that I got this set going for her. So I have a three roll here and a three roll here. But the problem is I don't have the best four piece set for her yet. All right, so I've already cleared this one. All? This won't be a blind run. This... I am able to zero cycle, so I'm hopefully going to be able to show a zero cycle here. This team, I know it's not the most optimal team, but I want to use Blade. And so I'm, I'm, I'm running Blade in a Fei team. I could probably clear faster without Blade, maybe. But one thing I like about Blade on this team is Hule acts so many times and has a lot of AoE attacks. So Blade just gets to do a lot of follow-up attacks, which is fun. Anyways. Let's hop in and I'm probably going to try for a zero cycle. We'll see how many tries it takes me. The The only way for me to zero cycle is if I can't get it to a no hit run. So what I need is I need... There's a guy who does a stun attack. If he stuns my Acheron or my Pella, the run is pretty doomed. But if he stuns... Ranmei or Zhao Cho, then it's down to crit RNG and whether I can crit enough of my Acheron's hit. And, and Pella got, okay, this, this is doomed. And now I can launch Acheron's ultimate. Hopefully it's like 1.1 million. Nice. Now this should kill them off. Awesome. Okay, this run is looking good. I just need Pella not to get stunned and Akron not to get stunned. That's fine. Don't stun. Don't stun Pella or Akron. Oh my God! You gotta be kidding me. That run was perfect. All right, we go again. Okay, so we skill target the one that doesn't have the crimson knot. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Enemy data signet markers activate. Time for a good old counter attack. Okay. I weep for the one point one mil. No, I mean one point six mil. No. So this one, we might not have enough damage. We'll see. Um, okay, no we do. That's good. Pella ultimate and the Pella skill into Akron ult. Okay, okay, not bad. 21% should be enough to kill them on the spot. Okay, so we're back. We just need Pella or Acheron not to get stunned. Don't target them again. Okay, the, that was the right unit to, to CC. We should be good now. 
about letting the enemy strike? What do you want? We have the upper hand. Ready for another? Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the departed. I think I could have used my skill. Okay. Zero cycle completed. Only took me three tries. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Alright, this one is not going to be as fast. <laughs> if someone gets CC'd, I might restart. Okay. I never said I had to do them on my first try. Please don't get CC'd. Oh my god. Third, third time's a charm on this side too, right? That's how it works. Oh my god, how come they all get CC'd? Okay, there we go. I wish they hit blade, but whatever. What can you do? Now there's no choice but to hit blade here. Pop the ult here to break her. That paradise, savor it for me. That's all you got. It ain't over. I venture for it. Pop the ult again. Nice. And then Shell is going to get the kill. And we start this fight with Shell's follow-up attack. That's good. That's good. Okay, wait. She's going to die. Wait, no one's hitting Blade. Hello? Why are you not hitting Blade? Okay, wait. The, the RNG is gonna make up for it, right? Blade's gonna get hit in the future, right? Hello, hit Blade. How many times has Blade been hit this fight? Super unlucky with the RNG here. Please hit Blade. What are you doing? Blade has not been hit a single time. Hit Blade, hit Blade. Okay, thank you. Step 
couplets. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna do Gallagher Ultimate so that he can battery Robin again. I think I'm gonna break this guy for one more instance of break. A blade knows no mercy. That paradise savor it for me. Nice. You're finally hitting blade. Good job. Took you long enough. I'm gonna have to heal. Okay. Savor it for me. I guess now you can battery blade. Okay, we got six more stacks. Ooh, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is Robin ult after Blade goes. I will dispatch you. I can also wait and Robin ult at the end. But I think doing it while he's still weakness broken is better. Okay, we got the job done in the end. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> but zero cycle first half, four cycle second half. You could probably get a faster clear on the second half with Face Shao on your team. But I mean it's not bad, right? Anything you have you have ten cycles to clear both, so anything under five is respectable. So I'll I'll go through my character builds. My Acheron is nothing special. She has... I mean, I've been farming for her for so long. I just didn't really get too lucky with her relics. She's on S5, good night, sleep well. Everything is maxed. This is a very good piece for her. Four rolls. This is also another four roll piece, which is really good. This piece sucks. It's only one roll. And then this piece is okay. I wish it was crit rate instead of all the crit damage, but that's my only attack boot, right? Like this HP boot rolled really well, but Akron doesn't scale off HP. This piece is horrible. So like look at how many I farmed and this is my like best attack orb. And that's really sad. And then this piece is okay. So my Acheron, it's really nothing special. So her being able to zero cycle is quite impressive. Jocho, he's on a tutorial light cone. They're making this available now for everyone, which is really nice because this light cone is one of my account's MVPs. It's just so busted. And then most of his important traces are maxed in my opinion. <laughs> and then he's on 4-piece Eagle, 2-piece Von Wack, just so that he can go very fast. Ron May is Brick Effect Ron May, so she's slow Ron May. She's on her Light Cone, everything is maxed, and she's on Watchmaker, Von Wack, and she's on a Brick Effect Rope because I'm going all in on break effect and she has her E1. Pella is very fast on S3 pearls. Not maxed, but this thing is maxed. And then she has four piece eagle, two piece fawn whack, just like Chao Cho. And she's E6. 
So that's my zero cycle team. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, you might say this is unrelatable, but a lot of people have Acheron's Light Cone and that kind of makes the difference negligible. Like having Ronmei's E1, it'd probably be better to have Acheron's Light Cone than to have Ronmei's E1. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't have her Light Cone, so I can't really test. But I would assume damage difference wise, like this isn't actually like a 20% damage increase. And then Akron's light cone is kind of like a 20% damage increase. So. Fei Xiao. I already showed her build. So I won't go too in depth about her. If you watched my other videos, you kind of know what my blade build is like. So I have really crazy pieces for him on this particular set. And then he is E0. Robin, her build kind of changes depending on if I need tankiness or more attack. But in this case, I usually have her on the event like home. Um, I think for tomorrow's journey, but I found that if I'm running the Gallagher tech, I want, but the battle isn't over just so that she kind of has complete uptime on her on her ultimate. She's running two piece, two piece attack, and then two piece one whack. And I do have her E1 available, but I haven't activated it yet. So yeah, so this was run with a full E0 team, E0, 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 E0 and then Gallagher. I don't really know how I built my Gallagher. S5 quid pro quo, nothing is really maxed out. And I just gave him random relics. And he's E4. So those are my teams. I managed to do a four cycle both sides. Zero cycle on this side. And then four cycles on the second side. I think that's pretty good. 